Good morning everybody. How are you all? Hope you all are doing well kids. And you hope you are watching my videos. And last time I already given the idea of the skip counting right. So uh, those who didn't watch my video. I have already given the video link of the video in my description box. So when you go through that link. You can easily understand the skip counting okay so as per my promised what I have told you I told you that based on the five years I will teach you the clock so here it is so I hope you, uh, that uh, kids you can watch my clock what I have drawn in this board see there is a big clock over here right what I have written from 1 to 12. How I draw? 1, 2, 3, 4 like circle. I make the numbers and it finished with the number 12. So, how I will calculate the clock when I will tell you the turning of the clock. See, if you can see carefully, from 12 to 1, there are small, small standing lines are there. How many standings are there? See, one, one standing line is from the above the 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When the 5 will complete, what is the number? Number 1. After that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 5 will complete in the number 2. After that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, number 5 will complete number 3. Like that, 5, 5, 5, 5 standing lines are there up to 12. And in all the standing lines, it is denoted as one minute. Okay. And those are five standing are there. That means when my um, strings in the clock passed 12 to 1, that means five minutes passed. Now, let me introduce the hand. How many hands are there in our clock? There are three hands are there. One is long hand, one is small hand. One is long hand like this and one is small hand. Long hand is denoting as a minute hand and small hand is denoting as a hour hand. And very small thin hand is there. It is denoting as a second hand. So, hope you kids, you can watch my clock again. So, this is the, if the two hands, long hand and short hand, in, in the 12, that means this is 12 o'clock. And after 1 hour, again the small hand will move to 1. Then it will be 1 o'clock. When small hand move after 1 hour, 2, 2 o'clock. After 1 hour, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Like this, after 1 hour, 1 hour, the clock hand will rotate. Now, if the two, both two hand is in the 12, that means 12 o'clock. After 12 o'clock, the small hand means our hand still in the 12. But after 5 minutes, the long hand moved to 1. That means 5 past 12. When the long hand moved to 2, 10 past 12. When small long hand moved to 3, it is 3 means this is quarter. Quarter means like this. So, 3 3 means uh, that quarter past 12. Then the long hand move to 4. 20 past. This is 20, right? 20 past 12. Then 5. 25 past 12. When the long hand move to 6. 6 means 30 means half past. So this is half past 12. When the long hand move to 35. You know, let me tell you one thing before 35. From, from 5 to 25, we will denote it as past. And from 35 to 55, we will denote it as 20. When we are telling the time, we use the word 2. And for this case, we are using the word past. So, when the long hand is in the 7 o'clock, 7 means I have already told you this is 30, 35, 5, 5, 5 is 5 is. But when 
the long hand will be the 7. In that case, what is the time now? We will tell the time is 25 to 1. Means 25 minutes left to be 1 o'clock. Because this is we are telling about the 12 o'clock. When the long hand will 8, then we will tell 20 to 1. Means 20 minutes left to be 1. Again, well, this is the quarter past. And this is quarter to 1. Then this one is when the long hand will be the 10. Then this is 10 to 1. And this one 5 to 1. And then when 12. Then long when the long hand. This is the, in this case long hand is moving right. Small hand means our hand still in the 12. But when the long hand again move to the 12. Then after that one hour complete means Small hand move to the 1. That means o'clock. What is the time? 1 o'clock. Like this, all the time will move like this. So, kids, hope you understand this clock. Let me tell you again with writing so that it is easy for you to make you understand. Thank you. Look, here I have drawn 6 o'clock. 6 dot o means it is 6 o'clock. 6.5 means it is 5 per 6 what I have told you uh, that timing of the 12. 6.10 means this is 10 past 6. 6.15 means a quarter past 6. 6.20 means 20 past 6. 25, 25 past 6. 6.30 means half past 6. 6.35 means 25 to 7. That means 25 minutes left to be 7. 640 means 20 to 7. 645 again a quarter to 7. 650 means 10 to 7. And 655 means 5 to 7. Finally it is 7 o'clock. So like that our clock will move. Uh, this is the thing uh, about the clock what I have discussed today. But again I need another one or two more class about the clock because so many things I have to tell you. I will give you worksheet so that is it is easy for you to understand. I have to tell what is the aim, what is the PM, which work we will do in the aim and which works we will do in the PM. So um, I have, please watch my videos carefully so that it is easy for you. Uh, to make you understand because next video also I will discuss about the clock and that is the second part of this clock okay so till then good day goodbye okay please like share and subscribe my channel thank you